can't remember a time when more people were talking about domestic violence and what we've seen out of the NFL. I think that's a pretty big reason why. But this issue isn't limited to the league. One in four women in the United States have experienced severe violence at the hands of their partner. The Women's Center for Advancement helps thousands of women and children right here each year. Elizabeth Power is here to explain how a purple purse supports the mission. Good to see you, Elizabeth. Nice to have Good you here. You. You've got Thank the you. purse right here. Tell All us right about this here. purse. What's the purpose? So this purse is very special. There's only about 150 siblings to this purse. You can't purchase it in any stores or online. And Carrie Washington from Scandal. Scandal, one of, my, one of our favorite shows. I know, it's mine too. Um, every Thursday night. <laughs> uh, she designed this purse. It's beautiful. Specifically to raise awareness about mm -hmm. domestic violence. Is there uh, something with the color that ties back to the cause? So or tell purple us more. is the color for domestic violence awareness. And October happens to be Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And there she is carrying the bag. So if these can't be purchased in stores, but our viewers want to help you raise money, they want to own the bag, what right? should they know? So we have a great event coming up October 24th, TGIF. Super fun cowboy casual, mm -hmm. so bring your cowboy boots <laughs> and your cowboy hat. And we will be auctioning this purse off actually mm -hmm. there. So one lucky winner will walk away with this very, very exclusive bag. And I imagine it's gonna go for a lot of money. Mm -hmm. uh, what's gonna happen with the money raised from this event? So that money will go directly back to the WCA and we use all of that to help any of our programs that we offer um, victims of domestic violence and sexual how assault. Do, how do you do it? Give us a few examples. When, when a woman comes to you or she's trying to leave home because we hear so many times mm -hmm. you, you try and you try before you finally succeed at it. How do you help those women? So first off, when someone walks in our door or calls us on our hotline, we never expect them to leave. It's their choice when they want to leave that violent situation. We can't make them do that. Uh, and we immediately go into safety planning. So it's all about their safety and talking about the different things that are in their lives that they may not think about. Mm -hmm. you know, your phone, all the data that's admitted from your cell phone, uh, your kids, many domestic violence victims have children, uh, your house, how are you staying safe at your house, their school, all those different things that impact our lives every mm -hmm. single day and making sure that they have a plan and know how to be safe in case something happens. You're the expert in this area. You've heard many stories, a lot of them are horror stories. You were mm -hmm. telling us about um, somebody whose uh, kid came home from school and her friend's mom had to go to a shelter because, right. or the hospital because of her, her father. Right. What, how can we talk to our kids about domestic violence? And, and I guess what age do you start? So I don't think you can start too young, honestly. Um, I have a six-year-old daughter and I'm talking to her about healthy relationships. You don't talk about the violence, mm -hmm. you just wanna tell them what is appropriate in a relationship. And they're gonna look at mom and dad to see what's appropriate in relationships too. That's how they learn about relationships. And you really talk about hitting is never appropriate. We never ever hit people, especially for those young ones. That's about as far as you wanna go. And just remind them that they can tell you as a parent if they have been hit. And that's okay to tell mom and dad. Because once they get to be teenagers and that might be happening, they're gonna be terrified to well, tell Well, I think mom that's another age you wanna talk about is mm -hmm. preteens and teens when they start thinking about having these boyfriends at school right. or whatever. How do, you, how do you talk to those kids? So it's a different age group, right, than a six-year-old. And it's just making sure that they know you're there to support them. Because teenagers are gonna rebel against mom and dad no matter what, the best mm -hmm. teenagers rebel against mom and dad in some way or another. And you just wanna be that supportive figure that they feel comfortable telling you what's going on. Or if you know your child may not feel comfortable, start really paying attention to what's going mm -hmm. around in their lives and maybe ask some teachers if they're acting different, how they act around their boyfriend or girlfriend at school, if they notice any signs that there might be some control going on, and maybe yeah. it's they don't want them to speak to certain people. Mm -hmm. Just those types of different things are really good indicators that there might be some abuse going on. What have you noticed within your field, working in it through uh, what we've seen, starting with Ray Rice and now a couple of other um, cases we've heard about from the NFL. Mm -hmm. What are you noticing? Uh, well, definitely our hotline numbers are increasing as they are nationwide. Mm -hmm. And the reason is, is because it's domestic violence is always hit in the shadows. And it's finally out in the light and people are talking about it. And it's not such a shameful thing to talk mm -hmm. about now. And that's the one thing we really want people to know if they're experiencing this, and domestic violence comes in a lot of different ways. It's not always physical. It can be financial, emotional, um, stalking, all different types of abuse. Mm -hmm. And that we're here and we want to talk to you and help you.
Well, this is the, inf the uh, information on the event, event. Thank goodness it's it's fun. And this is about the purse, the Carrie Washington yep. purse. Yes. They can get that. Tickets for this event are $100. WCAOmaha.org is a website that you can go to. Can tickets be purchased on the website? They sure can. Mm -hmm. right. Or call 345-7273. I'll tell you the website. There is an emergency exit button at the top of the site. So if you're online looking for help and you need to get away quickly, look for the red button. Thank you for Elizabeth. coming in. Thank Thanks you. We appreciate you being here and for right. bringing the bag. Yeah.